YouTube, it's your boy B. Dot back with another quick beard video. Wanted to touch on something real fast, fellas, man, about this beard journey. I'm the over the counter beard guy. I'm going to go into a Target, a Walmart, um, a Meyer, if you got one in your area, and I'm going to buy some hair product for my beard. Now, those hair products that we buy for our beard aren't necessarily a bad thing. But getting caught up in buying so many different hair products that aren't really formulated for your beard, though they will get the job done for you. Short on cash flow, we can't always go out to Amazon, etc., and buy all these different beard washes for 20 plus dollars, beard balms, beard oils, etc. I equate my beard journey, man, basically to the fitness journey. And when I started off working out, man, I really couldn't afford to go buy everything I needed to work out. As I started to evolve in my fitness journey and was financially able to start going to GNC and buying the protein powder, start going on amazon.com buying protein powders, BCAAs, pre-workouts, uh, amino acids, things like that. It helped my fitness journey and I equate the beard journey to the same type of thing. You know, you're going to start off you can get your olive oil. You can get your coconut oil. That's basically all you need if you got a very low beer, five o'clock shadow. Slap you some coconut and some olive oil. Rub it into your beard. Just brush your beard, man. Every single day. If you have good genetics, your beard is going to grow. No doubt about it. Now, using the over-the-counter products that I've been using, it's not a horrible thing. But as I put into my Instagram post just the other day, if you guys are not following me, follow me at B. Dot. As far as this beer journey, man, it's a beginning, a middle, and an ending. Now, the ending doesn't necessarily mean that's the end. You don't have to do anything else to your beer. But by the time you get to the ending, you should pretty much know what products work for you and what products don't. So what I mean by by the end, I should be down to about three or four products that I use on a daily. So going forward, fellas, I'm not buying any more over-the-counter hair products. Everything I buy going forward will be beard-only products. Whether I'm on Amazon.com or going to the websites themselves and getting beard products from them. If you notice that places like Target and Walmart and Meijer, you're not going to find too many beard products. I noticed that Target, for instance, I've only saw Cremo and Maestro's. Those were the only beer companies that I saw at, at Target. And Walmart the same. And it's a whole world out here of beer products, almost too many to name. And although my genetics have gotten my beard to grow to where it is right now, and look the way that it looks right now, I never hate on the over-the-counter hair products. The Cream of Nature, the Carol's Daughter, the Palmer's Coconut Oil, Palmer's Coconut Hair Smoothie, my ever so famous Mill Creek Biotin Shampoo. I can't really hate on that. But it's a whole world of beer products out here that I want to get a chance to use and be able to utilize a lot of natural products um, coming from these different beer companies with some simple but effective ingredients. I'm going to start doing a lot of different reviews on different companies and really try to narrow it down to a beer product that I like from beer wash, beer balm, beer oil, and some type of beer conditioner. But there won't be any more over-the-counter hair products going into my beard. But just starting off, man, if you go grab you some extra virgin olive oil, some organic coconut oil, Maybe a little shea butter that comes into like little containers. That's basically all you need, man. Just work that into your beard. Brush it every single day. You're trying to grow a full beard, a chin strap, whatever you're trying to do. That should be basically all you need. I've reached out to a few beard companies and I've also been on Amazon buying a few different beard products. They should be here within the next week or so. So I'm looking forward to start doing some reviews and just trying out some different beer products that are strictly for your beer. So just always keep that in mind, fellas, that this beer journey is a beginning, a middle, and an ending. And right now, I consider myself to sort of be in the middle. 
So this is a perfect time for me to branch off of the over-the-counter hair products and go strictly to beard products. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. I appreciate all the support. I'll holla back. Peace.